Next is matching list type questions. So let us discuss question number 51 now in which we just have to draw the graph of the function fx and then we have to answer the following questions. So to draw the graph of fx, let's firstly draw the graph of mod of x minus 1. See mod of x minus 1, x is 1 here and this will be the graph of mod of x minus 1. So directly let's make the graph of mod of x minus 1 minus 2, right? So at x equal to 1, value is minus 2. At x equal to 0, value is minus 1. And at x minus 1, value is 0. So the graph is like this for mod of x minus 1 minus 2 where this point is minus 1 and this point is 0 comma minus 1 right now when we take its mod then it will shift upwards that is we will take mirror image of the part that is in negative y axis so this point is now 1 comma 2 right so this is the graph of mod x minus 1 minus 2 mod now we have to take it 3 units downwards so let us again make the graph let us take it 3 units downwards so this point is minus 1 comma 0 so it will be minus 1 comma minus 3 and here this point is at x equal to 0 value is 1 so it will come at 0 comma minus 2 and this point will come at 1 comma minus 1 and this point will come at this is 3 comma 0 so it will come at 3 comma minus 3 right so the graph is something like this this and this will now go upwards right so this point is 0 comma minus 2 this point is 1 comma minus 1 and this point is 3 comma minus 3 now we have to take mod of it one last time so let us now make the final graph so, from here it will come down and then up again and then down and then this is the final line, right? So, let us write down the points here. This is 6 comma 0 and this is 3 comma 3. This is 1 comma 1. This is minus 1 comma 3 and at x equal to 0 value is 2 so this is 0 comma 2 so this is our final graph now in list 1 it is talking about number of solutions when value of k is as given in list 2 right so let us talk about number of solutions when k is equal to 0 then number of solutions will be 2 right for k equal to 1 number of solutions will be 5 and for k equal to 3 number of solutions will be 4 and for k equal to 5 or 6 number of solutions will be 2 each right now fx equal to k has exactly 4 solutions so option number p will match with 3 for 5 solutions it will match with option number 4 so for exactly two solutions we have the answer as 1 2 and 5 option and for maximum solutions maximum solutions can be got when the line is somewhere here so maximum number of solutions is 6 so correct answer is option number 1 so from the given options we can see correct answer is given in option number D next is question number 52 which says that if in a triangle ABC cos a cos b cos c is given sin a sin b sin c is given so a question from solution of triangles 
we just have to apply the formulas and we will get the answers. So in option number B, it talks about the value of cos 2a plus cos 2b plus cos 2c. Now this is definitely equal to minus 1, minus 4 cos a, cos b, cos c. So that is equal to minus 1, minus 4 times root 3 minus 1 upon 8. That is equal to minus 1, minus root 3 minus 1 upon 2. So this is equal to minus 1 minus root 3 by 2 plus half that is equal to minus half minus root 3 by 2. So from the given options we see that correct answer is given in option number 3 that is minus of root 3 plus 1 upon 2. Now option number Q says about sin square a plus sin square b plus sin square c. See we know the formula that cos 2 theta is equal to 1 minus 2 into sin square theta. So let's apply it here. So we will get sin square a is equal to 1 minus cos 2a divided by 2. Similarly next 1 minus cos 2b plus 1 minus cos 2c. So this is equal to 3 by 2 minus 1 by 2 into cos 2a plus cos 2b plus cos 2c and that is equal to minus of root 3 plus 1 upon 2. So this is equal to root 3 plus 7 divided by 4. So from the given options, option number 4 is the correct choice. Now option number R, value of tan A plus tan B plus tan C. If A, B, C are angles of a triangle, then it can be equal to tan A, tan B, tan C. So this is equal to sin A sin B sin C divided by cos A cos B cos C. So this is equal to 3 plus root 3 divided by root 3 minus 1. So let us rationalize it. So multiply and divide by root 3 plus 1. So this is equal to 3 root 3 plus 3 plus 3 plus root 3 divided by A plus B into A minus B that is 2. So that is 6 plus 4 root 3 upon 2 that is equal to 3 plus 2 root 3. So option number 1 is the correct choice. Now option number S it talks about sin 2a plus sin 2b plus sin 2c that is definitely equal to 4 into sin a sin b sin c. So that is equal to 3 plus root 3 divided by 2. So Option number 2 is the correct choice. Also, let us solve option number 5. That is equal to root 3. Rationalizing it, we get root 3 plus 1 upon 2. So, that is equal to 3 plus root 3 upon 2 again. So, S has answer 2 and 5 both. So, let us now check the options. From the given options, we can see Correct answer is given in option number B. Next is question number 53 which says that consider a function fx equal to a minus 1 into x square plus root 3x plus 1 whole square minus a plus 1 into x raised to the power 4 minus x square plus 1. Now it can be seen that this can be written equal to x square plus 1 whole square minus 3x square right so that is equal to a square minus b square so that is a plus b into a minus b right so we have written x raised to the power 4 minus x square plus 1 as these two brackets so let us solve fx it can be written equal to we can take directly x square plus root 3x plus 1 common. So we are left with a minus 1 into x square plus root 3x plus 1 minus a plus 1 into x square plus 1 minus root 3x. Right? So this is equal to x square plus root 3x plus 1 into now here it can be seen that if we expand this then most of the terms will get cancelled and we will be left with minus 2 into 
एक्स स्क्वायर माइनस रूट थ्री ए एक्स प्लस वन राइट नाउ लेट्स टॉक अबाउट ऑप्शन नंबर पी इट सेज दैट इफ एफ एक्स इज लेस देन जीरो देन द एक्सेस्टिव सेट ऑफ वैल्यूज ऑफ ए इज सो इट कैन बी सीन दैट फर्स्ट ब्रैकेट इज ऑलवेज पॉजिटिव बिकॉज डिस्क्रिमिनेंट इज लेस देन जीरो सो दिस इज ऑलवेज पॉजिटिव सो वी जस्ट हैव टू टॉक अबाउट द सेकेंड ब्रैकेट सो एफ एक्स लेस देन जीरो मीन्स दैट एक्स स्क्वायर माइनस रूट थ्री ए एक्स प्लस वन शुड बी गर देन जीरो राइट विच मीन्स दैट इट्स डिस्क्रिमिनेंट शुड बी लेस देन जीरो दैट इज शुड बी लेस देन फोर दैट इज ए स्क्वायर इज लेस देन फोर बाय थ्री विच मीन्स दैट ए बिलोंग्स फ्रॉम माइनस टू बाय रूट थ्री अप टिल टू बाय रूट थ्री सो ऑप्शन नंबर टू इज द करेक्ट चॉइस नाउ सिमिलरली लेट्स टॉक अबाउट ऑप्शन नंबर क्यू इट सेज दैट एफ एक्स ग्रेटर देन जीरो एफ एक्स ग्रेटर देन जीरो मीन्स एक्स स्क्वायर माइनस रूट थ्री ए एक्स प्लस वन इज लेस देन जीरो राइट नाउ इट इज नेवर पॉसिबल बिकॉज क्वेफिशियंट ऑफ एक्स स्क्वायर इज पॉजिटिव सो इट इज नॉट पॉसिबल फॉर ऑल एक्स बिलोंग्स टू आर सो सेट ऑफ वैल्यूज ऑफ ए इज फाइव दैट इज ऑप्शन नंबर वन इज द करेक्ट चॉइस नाउ लेट्स टॉक अबाउट ऑप्शन नंबर आर इट सेज दैट इफ एफ एक्स इक्वल टू जीरो हैज एट लीस्ट टू डिस्टिंक रियल रूट्स देन द एग्जॉस्टिव सेट ऑफ वैल्यूज ऑफ ए इज इट हैज एट लीस्ट टू डिस्टिंक्ट रियल रूट्स Now, first bracket always gives us imaginary roots, which means that x square minus root three a x plus one equal to zero should give us two distinct real roots. That is possible only when d is greater than zero, which means that a square is greater than four by three. That is, a belongs from minus infinity to minus two by root three union. 2 by root 3 up till infinity. So option number 5 is the correct choice, right? Now let's talk about option number S. Now f x equal to 0 has only imaginary roots such that sum of roots is S. Only imaginary means that this should have discriminant less than 0, which means that a belongs from Minus two by root three up till two by root three. But here we have to talk about sum of roots s. So sum of roots is s equal to sum of roots from the first bracket that is minus root three and sum of roots from the second bracket that is plus root three a. Now we know the range of a. So root three a will go from minus two up till two. So root three a minus root three It will go from minus two minus root three up till two minus root three. So this is the range of S. So from the given options, we can see that option number three is matching with it. So from the given options, we can see that our correct answer will be option number C. Now the last column matrix is question number fifty-four. So option number P says that if Z is a complex number, satisfying. Z cube minus iota Z plus one equal to zero. Then the value of principal argument of Z plus Z bar plus Z Z bar is now very simple question. It can be seen here that Z plus Z bar is always real, and Z into Z bar that is also real, which means that its principal argument is either zero or pi. So answer is either one or five. Now option number Q. says that we have to find the value of principal argument of this value we know that argument of z1 into z2 upon z3 is equal to argument of z1 plus argument of z2 minus argument of z3 so applying this here we can write it as argument of 1 plus root 3 iota plus argument of root 3 minus iota Plus argument of one plus iota minus argument of root three plus iota. So this is equal to argument of one plus root three iota is pi by three plus argument of root three minus iota will be minus pi by six plus pi by four minus argument of root three plus iota that will be pi by six. So this is equal to 
पाई बाय फोर सो ऑप्शन नंबर टू इज द करेक्ट चॉइस नाउ लेट्स टॉक अबाउट ऑप्शन नंबर आर इफ जेड लाइज ऑन द लाइन सेगमेंट ज्वाइनिंग पॉइंट जेड वन इक्वल टू माइनस टू प्लस आयोटा एंड जेड टू इक्वल टू माइनस थ्री माइनस आयोटा देन प्रिंसिपल आर्ग्यूमेंट ऑफ जेड मे बी दिस इज द ग्राफ सो लेट इज प्लॉट द पॉइंट माइनस टू वन दैट इज जेड वन एंड अदर पॉइंट इज माइनस थ्री कॉमा माइनस वन राइट सो दिस इज द लाइन सेगमेंट जेड वन जेड टू राइट सो वी हैव टू फाइंड प्रिंसिपल आर्ग्यूमेंट ऑफ जेड मे बी सो प्रिंसिपल आर्ग्यूमेंट ऑफ जेड मे टेक ऑल द वैल्यूज दैट आर लाइंग बिटवीन दीज टू सो लेट इज गो थ्रू दी ऑप्शन फर्स्ट वन सेज जीरो इट कैन नॉट बी जीरो इट कैन बी इन सेकेंड और थर्ड क्वारेंट पाई बाय फोर एंड पाई बाय ट्वेल्व इज ऑल्सो नॉट पॉसिबल एंड पाई इज डेफिनेटली पॉसिबल इट कैन बी सीन फ्रॉम द ग्राफ इट सेल्फ सो फाइव इज डेफिनेटली आर आंसर नाउ लेट्स चेक ऑन सेवन पाई बाय ट्वेल्व नाउ सेवन पाई बाय ट्वेल्व इज सेवन इन टू वन एटी अपॉन ट्वेल्व दैट इज फिफ्टीन इन टू सेवन दैट इज वन जीरो फाइव डिग्रीज राइट सो लेट इज टॉक अबाउट वन थर्टी फाइव डिग्रीज नाउ द पॉइंट इज माइनस वन हेयर एंड वन हेयर राइट नाउ इफ वी टॉक अबाउट वन थर्टी फाइव डिग्रीज देन दैट आर्ग्यूमेंट इज नॉट पॉसिबल राइट नाउ इट कैनॉट अटेन वन थर्टी फाइव डिग्रीज सो डेफिनेटली इट कैनॉट अटेन द वैल्यू वन जीरो फाइव डिग्रीज सो ओनली आंसर इज ऑप्शन नंबर फाइव नाउ ऑप्शन नंबर एस जेड वन एंड जेड टू आर टू कॉम्प्लेक्स नंबर सच दैट जेड वन माइनस आईओटा जेड टू इज इक्वल टू जीरो एंड इट हैव बीन गिवन दैट आर्ग्यूमेंट ऑफ जेड वन प्लस आर्ग्यूमेंट ऑफ जेड टू इज इक्वल टू टू पाई बाय थ्री देन वी हैव टू फाइंड द प्रिंसिपल आर्ग्यूमेंट ऑफ जेड वन नाउ इफ वी टेक हेयर आर्ग्यूमेंट ऑन बोथ साइड सो वी हैव आर्ग्यूमेंट ऑफ जेड वन इज इक्वल टू आर्ग्यूमेंट ऑफ आईओटा जेड टू दैट इज पाई बाय टू प्लस आर्ग्यूमेंट ऑफ जेड टू so we have two equations here this is equation 2 and this is equation 1 so if we solve these two then we get argument of z1 equal to 7 pi by 12 so answer is option number 4 so let us check the options our answer is given in option number c so c is the correct choice i hope all the questions are clear to you thanks for watching